Hello everyone. Hope you all doing great. Welcome back to another mind-blowing video. Today we are going to visit one of the famous national park California and Nevada both states has to offer. Yes you all guessed it right, it is the Great Death Valley National Park. Today you all about to watch the first episode of the Death Valley Explorer series, so hang in tight and enjoy the show. Death Valley National Park is an American national park that straddles the California-Nevada border, east of the Sierra Nevada. The park boundaries include Death Valley, the southern section of Eureka Valley and most of Saline Valley. The park occupies an interface zone between the arid Great Basin and Mojave Deserts, protecting the northwest corner of the Mojave Desert and its diverse environment of salt flats, sand dunes, badlands, valleys, canyons and mountains. Death Valley is the largest national park in the contiguous United States, as well as the hottest, driest and lowest of all the national parks in the United States. It contains Badwater Basin, the second lowest point in the Western Hemisphere and lowest in North America at 282 feet below sea level. The park is home to many species of plants and animals that have adapted to this harsh desert environment including creosote bush, joshua tree, bighorn sheep, coyote, and the endangered Death Valley peupfish, a survivor from much wetter times. UNESCO included Death Valley as the principal feature of its Mojave and Colorado Deserts Biosphere Reserve in 1984. A series of Native American groups inhabited the area from as early as 7000 BC, most recently the Timbisha around 1000 AD who migrated between winter camps in the valleys and summer grounds in the mountains. A group of European Americans, trapped in the valley in 1849 while looking for a shortcut to the gold fields of California, gave the valley its name, even though only one of their group died there. Several short-lived boomtowns sprang up during the late 19th and early 20th centuries to mine gold and silver. The only long-term profitable ore to be mined was borax, which was transported out of the valley with 20 mule teams. The valley later became the subject of books, radio programs, television series, and movies. Tourism expanded in the 1920s when resorts were built around stovepipe wells in Furnace Creek. Death Valley National Monument was declared in 1933 and the park was substantially expanded and became a national park in 1994. The valley is actually a graben with the oldest rocks being extensively metamorphosed and at least 1.7 billion years old. Ancient, warm, shallow seas deposited marine sediments until rifting opened the Pacific Ocean. Additional sedimentation occurred until a subduction zone formed off the coast. The subduction uplifted the region out of the sea and created a line of volcanoes. Later the crust started to pull apart, creating the current basin and range landform. Valleys filled with sediment and, during the wet times of glacial periods, with lakes, such as Lake Manly. Death Valley is the fifth largest American national park and the largest in the contiguous United States. It is also larger than the states of Rhode Island and Delaware combined, and nearly as large as Puerto Rico. In 2013, Death Valley National Park was designated as a dark sky park by the International Dark Sky Association. There are two major valleys in the park, Death Valley and Panamint Valley. Both of these valleys were formed within the last few million years and both are bounded by north-south trending mountain ranges. These and adjacent valleys follow the general trend of basin and range topography with one modification. There are parallel strike-slip faults that perpendicularly bound the central extent of Death Valley. The result of this shearing action is additional extension in the central part of Death Valley which causes a slight widening and more subsidence there. Uplift of surrounding mountain ranges and subsidence of the valley floor are both occurring. The uplift on the Black Mountains is so fast that the alluvial fans, fan-shaped deposits at the mouth of canyons. They are small and steep compared to the huge alluvial fans coming off the Panamint Range. Fast uplift of a mountain range in an arid environment often does not allow its canyons enough time to cut a classic V-shape all the way down to the stream bed. Instead, a V-shape ends at a slot canyon halfway down, forming a wine glass canyon. Sediment is deposited on a small and steep alluvial fan. At 282 feet below sea level at its lowest point, Badwater Basin on Death Valley's floor is the second lowest depression in the Western Hemisphere, behind Laguna del Carbon in Argentina, while Mount Whitney, only 85 miles to the west, rises to 14,505 feet and is the tallest mountain in the contiguous United States. Activities See also. Places of interest in the Death Valley area. Sightseeing is available by personal automobile, four-wheel drive, bicycle, mountain bike, on established roadways only, and hiking. Riding through the park on motorcycle is also a popular pastime. State Route 190, the Badwater Road, the Scotty's Castle Road, and paved roads to Dante's View and Wildrose provide access to the major scenic viewpoints and historic points of interest. More than 350 miles of unpaved and four-wheel drive roads provide access to wilderness hiking, camping, and historical sites. All vehicles must be licensed and street legal. Unlike many other national parks in the U.S., there are no formal entrance stations, and instead entry fees can be paid at the visitor centers, ranger stations, or various fee machines around the park. 
There are hiking trails of varying lengths and difficulties, but most backcountry areas are accessible only by cross-country hiking. There are thousands of hiking possibilities. The normal season for visiting the park is from October 15th to May 15th, avoiding summer extremes in temperature. Costumed living history tours of the historic Death Valley Scotty's Castle were conducted for a fee, but were suspended in October 2015 due to extensive flood damage to the buildings and grounds. It remains closed to the public. A tourist sliding down Star Dune in the Mesquite Flat Dune Field. There are nine designated campgrounds within the park, and overnight backcountry camping permits are available at the visitor center. Xandra Parks and Resorts owns and operates a private resort, the Oasis at Death Valley, which comprises two separate and distinct hotels. The Inn at Death Valley is a four-star historic hotel, and the Ranch at Death Valley is a three-star ranch-style property reminiscent of the mining and prospecting days. Panamint Springs Resort is in the western part of the park. Death Valley Lodging Company operates the Stovepipe Wells Resort under a concession permit. We are almost end of this episode. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you all like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss next episodes of Death Valley National Park. Bye for now.